but you don't have any money. That's what it's like to work. Six in the morning, fall out of bed. A cold coffee, cigarette, stale bread. Rat in a race, I'm a rat in a trap. Counting all the hours that I'll never get back. Pick up the pace, shovel that shit. I swear to God, someday I'm gonna quit. Yeah, work is for suckers. You break your back for some stupid mother. Time is money, the money ain't free. Work is for suckers, and that sucker is me. He's working too, but telling all us other suckers what to do. Powerball jackpot, 50 million bucks. First thing I do is tell them all to get fucked. Bartender, pour another round. Why the long face, don't they pay you not to frown? I'll work it for suckers. You break your back for some stupid motherfucker. The time is funny. I was thinking, babe, hang my bed, it was all right. When all of a sudden, out of my dream, there popped a vision. Kind of like the way that a little chick hatches out of an egg. The eternal egg, the universal egg. Say, so let go of my leg, I'm just a little baby egg, now I'm a chicken. That's the way evolution works, oh. Which came first, my dream or the chicken, I do not know. But suddenly, I was in a cornfield. That cornfield was tall and blowy and wavy like most cornfields that we see on the postcards or on the Reader's Digest videos as we're taking the Greyhound bus from Amherst back to Providence between 11 a.m. and 5 a.m. in the morning one night. Is it a dream or reality? I do not know, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. But listen close, for here is what I saw. Deep within the cornfield, a small and beautiful little white clapboard shack that had been built with the sinewy and burlap hands of a noble American worker hailing from some great noble city like Pittsburgh or Cleveland or anything like that. Cleveland? Pittsburgh. He was from Pittsburgh. There was a small house. I was on the porch taking in the evening, drinking my sarsaparilla and a seersook, when I saw a cloud come over the horizon. Lo and behold, it was a white horse. The horse was wearing a denim jacket, which was ripped in all the right places. This denim jacket had been sewn by hand from a union-made sweatshirt workshop, also outside Pittsburgh. And on the horse was a rider. This rider was not just anybody, ladies and gentlemen. I could tell by his muscles and his receding hairline that this man was indeed a boss. But he was not just any boss. This was not just any dream. No, this was not my boss. This was not his boss. This was not your boss. This was the boss. And when I saw the boss, he spoke unto me, and I heard the following words from his lips. Suckers! Work is for suckers!